Hi everybody, I'm Shannon, and I'm a grateful follower of Jesus Christ. I found church with my grandma. She was a Sunday school teacher. My sister and I attended and we had a great time. We lost my grandmother from cancer and we slowly fell away from the church. When I was about eight years old, I had my first experience with suicide. My older brother, then 13, tried to take his own life. I had many things going on through my mind. I was scared. I was so sad just knowing that he was at, the, at his wit's end with his life. And a few years later, we lost my second brother also to suicide. As a child, I kind of stifled my own grief. I didn't want anyone to see me sad and have that make them sad. I got together with my first husband and I was about 19 years old. We were together for about 10 years. And when we split up, there wasn't anything really wrong, nothing big in our relationship. We just kind of grew apart. And when that happened, I moved in with my cousins uh, who were drug users. With that, I slowly slipped into the drug lifestyle. And at that point, when I lost my marriage, I just lost myself and the drug use took away that pain. And I was kind of on my own suicide mission. And I didn't uh, worry about drug use anymore and what it would do to me. I just, I started using and I used for a couple of years. And that's what brought me into my trouble. In my second marriage, we met while we were using. We were both active addicts and I got clean uh, with my son, and he wasn't so lucky. He struggled with his drug addiction, and soon we separated. He had a couple of attempts on his life after that, and uh, the fourth attempt was complete. He did take his own life. With NA, I got to where I had a few years clean under my belt, but I still carried all the guilt and shame of my past, and I needed a way to escape. When my sister and I moved out here to Lake Havasu, she started attending Calvary, and she told me that they have a Celebrate Recovery here. So I was very excited and started attending Celebrate Recovery, and there I learned that God gave me grace and forgiveness and he loved me even when I was a sinner. And all of that gave me an amazing peace and freedom. I was able to let go of my past and move on from there. I know personally the pain that comes along with losing someone to suicide. And I really looked for something that I might be able to do with my past to turn it into something that was positive for myself, growth for myself, and for others in the community. Lake Havasu has a very large population of people who have attempted to take their own lives and who have taken their lives. So with all that on my plate, I thought that it would be good for the community and for myself to start a group called Survivors LHC. It's a suicide support group for people who have attempted suicide and also for people who have lost loved ones. Through that, I do peer counseling one-on-one -on -one in homes or even in the hospital. So it's very important for me to help lead people to Jesus Christ, to help them through their hurts and habits and their hangups, and just to find peace with Him. So if you're lonely and hurting, and don't think that you have any other way. Just reach out to your family and friends. They might not even know that you're suffering. There's also Survivors LHC. I'm here to listen and provide support. And remember, there's always hope in Christ. He can change your life.